Hey everybody, today we're gonna take a quick look at White Boy Rick. Directed by Jan Demange and starring Matthew McConaughey and Richie Merritt as Richard Worshi Sr. and Jr. respectively. This is based on the true story of, you guessed it, a white boy named Rick. A kid who was dealing drugs and selling firearms and working as an informant for the feds, all while he was still, I don't want to say in high school because I believe he had dropped out, but of high school age. I believe this is only the second feature film from Demange, and it's pretty well made on a technical level. I really have no complaints there. There are some pretty good performances here. Matthew McConaughey is fantastic as Rick Sr. Belle Powley, who plays Dawn, Rick Jr.'s drug-addicted sister, is also very good. And while there are some interesting scenes in this movie, and a few good lines, a few funny moments as well, it really didn't do all that much for me. And unfortunately, the biggest problem, at least for me, was the title character. Rick just isn't a very interesting guy, at least not the way he's portrayed in the movie. He is surrounded by interesting people, interesting things happen to him, but Rick himself is pretty bland, and unfortunately, it's a pretty bland performance by Merritt in his film debut. Not off to a good start. And the more I watched this movie, the more I just wanted it to focus on people other than Rick. Because there is some good stuff going on here. There's a very touching scene where Rick Sr. meets his granddaughter for the first time. There's a pretty good sequence where Rick Sr. and Jr. stage an intervention for Don, who appears to be suffering from heroin addiction. There's a very funny moment where Rick is in a car with a police officer and two federal agents, and they're discussing how they're going to turn him into an informant, and they're basically instructing him to go buy some drugs from them so they can weed out all these drug dealers and bring them to justice. And finally, Rick just says, all right, let's do this, pulls out his gun and cocks it right in front of the feds and the cop. And, whoa, what are you doing? And Rick's like, what? How come you can have guns and I can't? And I'm not going to repeat the line that the cop said in response because I cannot do it justice, but it was such a good line. And this movie will definitely make you hate the criminal justice system due to the fact that Rick spent more time in jail than all of the people that he helped the feds put in jail. And not that he was an angel, not at all, not by any stretch, but still, that is incredibly fucked up. And this is all very interesting stuff, but there are quite a few moments that focus solely on Rick. And because Rick is Blandy McWhiteboy, the movie really tends to drag in those moments. I was looking at my watch more than once. It certainly seems like a good story on paper, and I imagine Worshi's autobiography would be a very engaging read, but there's just not enough here to make a good movie, and that certainly can happen. It's not the first time I've seen that. Uh, the 33, for example. Fascinating story, doesn't really translate to the big screen, and I imagine the inevitable movie about the Thai soccer team will end up the same way. In the end, White Boy Rick has its moments, but not enough of them, and overall, it's just okay. It might be worth a watch when it eventually hits cable, but I wouldn't spend your money to see it in theaters. And that's all I got to say about White Boy Rick. Till next time, take care.